Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're gonna talk about Super Mario, but we're not gonna talk about seeing the movie because we didn't go see I the movie. I was supposed to see it yesterday. Geeky was too sick. We had to cancel our tickets. I was still contagious and I didn't want to affect others. We have heard it's good. We have heard it's good if you expect nothing more than a movie with Mario in it. I don't know I'm gonna get to see it either because I was thinking Monday, but then I forgot that our dog gets fixed on Monday, so no. Yeah. I can't see it that day either. A poor dog. I don't know when I'll get to see it. Oh no. Poor uh, dog, poor meat nose. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna talk about this. Uh here here's what's really interesting. There's there's a lot of debate about Mario and fans versus critics and all that. And there was an article uh, article written in the Atlantic the other day where they basically admitted defeat. The media admitted defeat and they said, look. Twitter critics and movie critics live in the bubble. They're completely detached from the real world. Mm -hmm. uh, the audience score on this movie is like almost 100%. People are loving it. They're not expecting more than just Mario and Luigi doing Mario and Luigi things. Right, because that's what they, it's like going to see the Sonic movie. You know yeah. what I mean? But the media, because it's not review bombing when they do it. Yeah, it's not review bombing when they do it. But we're going to talk about this because there is a very real possibility that Universal is going to overtake Disney in animation. Like they're they're getting their ass kicked. Look at well, Disney's doubling down on live action re um, reimaginings. Yeah, isn't that sad? So they're going to get they're going to get beat on multiple levels. They're going to get beat in the theme parks because they're slipping in the theme parks. And they've got Epic Universe coming, Mario's coming. To well, the I don't theme know. Parks. I do think Disney's going to make an announcement about another a fifth gate because he he did say I think and I don't know if he was supposed to say it or not. It might because he was yeah. Iger was a little bit you know testy. Yeah, when someone was questioning him about you know the and all that, but he said about well Disney pays taxes in Florida. We're gonna we're gonna be investing seventeen billion into Florida the next ten years and having thirteen thousand jobs. Well, you don't have that many jobs and that much money invested unless you're adding something extra because. Epic Universe is adding 14,000 jobs. So something of that that many, that many amount of jobs isn't just an addition to the park. That's like something big. So I, there's a possibility they're going to try to come, come back. By the time Disney gets around to actually building a fifth gate, because it takes them how long it to does. build one coaster. That's, that's valid. That's At valid. that point, Universal's already going to have like five gates open and nobody's going to give a shit. But we're, we're going to talk about this because... Well, they're going to have all the money because everybody's going to go see their movies yes. and they're, they're not seeing Disney's movies. Um, th that's just it. And Marvel and Star Wars are, are plummeting too. Marvel and Star Wars are dropping off a cliff. Uh, man, Baby Yoda, the Baby Yoda show is definitely in the, the gutter right now. Uh, the last couple of animated movies have been duds at the box office. Uh, the word on the street is next couple they're coming out aren't going to do that well either. And... Meanwhile, Universal had Minions. They had Puss in Boots 2, which actually did better than people thought. It was a damn good movie. Puss in Boots 2 was really good. Well, we've talked before how uh, a lot of people, a lot of kids know Mario over Mickey Mouse globally. Yep. And, you know, this is a, this is going to be everywhere. Yes. So, you know, Mario is going to bring people in because Mario is like, a, like the younger generation's Mickey Mouse. So we're going to talk about this because this could be uh, definitely another blow to Disney. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. You'll get a woohoo if you do. Woohoo! Just play that back when you actually hit the subscribe button. Oh, there you go. Yeah. yeah. Here's yeah. the next one for you, just in case. Woohoo! There you go. Woohoo! It sounds like Mario there. It's like Mario. Oh, woohoo! Yeah. Um, so... <laughs> let's a go. Let's a go, Disney. Yeah, so the rap. Again, Hollywood publication saying... <laughs> Sorry, Disney. Super Mario Brothers could cement Universal as the new king of animation well, in the box funny office. funny saying that because you were actually going to write something similar to this. I was. Uh, before this article came out and you hadn't had a chance to yet. Yeah. But you've been saying this, that you're going to write this article for a couple weeks now because you think Disney's in trouble. Uh, and a lot of people I know have been saying that as well. Yeah. Um, Illumination is kicking their ass. Now, you don't have to like all the Illumination movies, but Minions are huge. Um, I think when they ever do get around to Shrek 5, if they don't drop the ball with it, I think it's going to be amazing if it's half as good as Puss in Boots 2, which blew my expectations. Like, I did not expect anything from this movie. I'm like, ah, it's another Shrek movie, whatever. It is the second best Shrek movie. The first, of course, is Shrek 2. Puss in Boots is a close second. That's how much I like I like the movie. I thought it was really good. And I'm like, yeah, if they if they do this good of a job with Shrek 5... 
it, it's going to mm-hmm. be something. Um, so yeah, they're they're saying that uh, Mario is set for a big opening weekend despite the bad reviews. You got to get in there. Despite the bad reviews, all people want are Mario and Luigi doing Super Mario things. Right, That's right. it. That's all they want. How dare they not give us, you know, st- super in-depth political hot takes? So they think that's going to generate more than 100 million over Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I've heard 128 million. They're saying the five day could go between 150 to 225 million. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it depends who you. It depends where you look. Depends on who you ask. But regard- we don't know until after the five days. But regardless, the the critical scores aren't doing anything because people are looking at the audience score, and the audience score is freaking 96 percent. You know. I don't what, what it's another thing. I, I don't know what you expect it. Like, oh, it's 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 basically like playing a video game. It's like Yeah. yeah. And <laughs> That's the point. And I mean, if they had tried to do something out of the box with Super Mario Brothers, people would be like, What the hell are you doing? They did that before in live action, it was a disaster. Oh, speaking of which, uh uh John Leguizamo is not gonna watch it do the casting. They messed up the inclusion. Mm-hmm. They have actual Italians. They have actual Italians. They didn't have actual Italians playing say, the Mario Brothers before there, John. Say, he's not You're Italian. not Italian. What the hell? How dare you? How dare you wear that hat? You're not Italian. Anyway. Well, he was the sidekick, so it's okay. He was just a sidekick. He was, he was just he, Luigi. He, he Nobody just cares. Luigi, you know. Nobody cares about Luigi. Nobody that was cares. before Luigi's Mansion when everybody actually liked Luigi. Yeah. So um, I don't know. Again, I can't speak to how good the movie is. We've heard, uh, you know, people's everything from its functional entertainment to it's really, really good. I guess it depends on what your expectations are. It looks like Mario. It looks like you're watching cutscenes from a video game, you know, for better or for worse. But, uh, yeah, we've got, um, this was the beginning of the year and this is before shit started getting real. They said Comcast is coming for you. I'm surprised that was written by Rick. Yeah. Rick. Cause Rick says all his, almost all his time kissing Disney's ass and <laughs> telling you to buy Disney stock. Yeah. But they're, they're ramping up their theme park business. They're going to be building one in Texas and Vegas. They're doing Halloween. Comcast runs. went down after Mario has been doing so well. Their stock. Yeah. You think it would go up. I don't know. Um, anyway, uh, they said, yeah, it could cement Universal as the new king of animation after years of dominance by Disney. Disney's not even trying anymore. Yeah. They said, now they're saying five-day opening of 125. I've heard it. It's all over the place. Uh, reviews have been tepid with Rotten Tomatoes score 46. It's no, 53 it's now. now yeah. At least on opening weekends, the critics' takes will bounce off this film like bullets off Bowser's spiked shell. No one gives a shit what the critics say, good or bad. Let's be honest They here. don't care. Except for the other, except for the media outlets using it to justify their position. Most people don't even care. The ones who scream about the critical score more than anybody is YouTubers like us, probably, because we're just like, you're full of shit, or yeah. like, what the hell are you smoking? They said it's going to set up Mario Brothers to become one of the highest grossing films of the year. Uh, in the process, Universal will notch another animation victory in what has been a very fruitful post-closure run for its two animation studios, Illumination and DreamWorks, while Disney and Pixar struggling. They bombed. Disney and Pixar bombed at the box office with Lightyear and Strange World. You know they- what I'm hearing about Mario, though? It's just fun. Yeah. That's what people just want. They just want fun. And that's what they're saying about this movie. It's just fun. It might not be the best movie ever, and it might be dumb fun, but it's just fun. I'll take dumb fun. And people want that. They're, they're, they don't want it. It doesn't have to have a special message. It doesn't have to be like dark like Lightyear. Or, you know, it doesn't have to push different things like it, Strange World. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm like, in what freaking bizarro timeline do we live in where a Buzz Lightyear movie is a dark movie? You know, dark, yeah. gritty, realistic movie. I'm like, it's Buzz Lightyear. Just do Star Command, just with better graphics. Yeah, That's all you had to do. do. That's all you had to do. Make it fun. You know, you can have diversity and cl- inclusion and all that stuff. You can even get a message in there. Just as long as you're subtle with it and you and you make it fun. Because people are just tired of constantly being slapped in the face with shit 24-7. They just want to have fun with something they know. We're going to have fun with Mario. Because Mario's been there with, for me since I was a kid, and Mario makes me happy. So I'm going to go watch Mario kick Bowser's ass. I bet Mario's a fascist. I don't know. There's all kinds of crap about, well, Princess Peach this and Princess Peach that. Oh and I'm like, whatever. Oh, my what God. Because she gets, yeah, because Bowser wants fun? to. No. No, that's the problem. We can't have fun. Everything has to be political. Everything's got to be political. But, yeah, but look at Minions Rise of Groove. That was dumb fun. It did bonkers at the box office 936 million globally become the highest grossing animated movie since frozen 2 uh did you go see that yeah you took pinky boo pinky boo likes minions she does like minions it was actually pretty good now there are a lot of plot holes 
a lot of plot holes that didn't reconcile with the other movies in the the deep minions People mythology. People apparently didn't care. It was fun. It made a lot of money. It was fun. Uh, DreamWorks followed up with Puss in Boots, The Last Witch, which be The Last Wish, which became ah, see that's hard to say. The Last Wish, which became the latest Christmas release to turn an anemic opening into months of box office success. Almost half half a million gross worldwide. Um, that started out slow because nobody expected it to be good. Mm -hmm. And my God, the movie was good. Like it was, Jack was awesome. Yeah, they said um, uh, films like Disney's Wish and Elemental and Spider Man Across the Spider Verse will be will soon contend. Um, Elemental the, is I, I do not think Elemental is going to do Jack. It looks boring. It looks yeah predictable. It does it. I don't, people aren't being really excited about it. We've seen this so many times with even, you know, we've already seen it with Inside Out. We've already seen it. It lo looks like Osmosis Jones to me, kind of in a way. It does, like, actually. I'm like, eh, eh, I don't care. Um, Spider-Man will probably do good. Yeah, it probably will. Um, I'm sure it will because the first good. one did really well. I'm sure it'll do well. Um, so yeah. this is there might, but Tom Holland in it and stuff too. Yeah. That's the rumors. Yeah. It'll, it'll do well, regardless of, you know, people were having a debate about the flag in the background or whatever. I don't really I mean, care. honestly, people weren't, unless you were looking for it. See, this is what someone who worked on the film had to have been the one that went out there and put it out there. Well, we know. Because no people, no people wouldn't have caught that. Yeah. We know people working on the film are admittedly are activists because that came up during the last movie, but it didn't affect the box office at all because the movie itself actually was. But good. Basically, was, Spire Verse was good. Right, but they basically put it in there and they're like, we gotta make it. Oh, did you see that? Did you catch it? You know, 10 to 1, it was someone who works in the movie who put it out there. Yeah, I said Mario's set to have a growing presence in the theme parks. It's clear Nintendo will be a major franchise force for the studio going forward. There's um, more, yeah, they got Pokemon rights in Japan to use for different things in the theme park. It's a matter of time till they get it in the U.S. There's been all kinds of rumors about different Nintendo franchises, the franchises in Nintendo coming to the parks or to the to the films. I mean, it's been how long has it been be a, a Zelda movie? That's been rumors around for a while. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, it's just like people have made their own like fake trailers and stuff for this movie because it's been rumored for so long. We live in a world where we got a Tetris movie. And That's that, true. That which we have to watch. That would have been something that was. Oh yeah, gaming journal. God, okay, we're gonna talk about gaming journals because apparently. Squid King told me, I, I would have to look it up, but he told me that there are gaming journals out there that didn't know what Tetris was. Yes, that's what he was saying. I'm like, how do you not know what Tetris was? And this was? wasn't on April Fool's. They were like, oh, yeah, I'm reviewing this movie. Apparently, it's based on like like some old video game or something. I'm like, Tetris is one of the most popular video games of all time. Like, what the hell? I know. I don't understand how you don't know that, but oh okay. Because they're gaming journals. And yeah, how dare gaming journal or know what the hell they're talking about? So, look, there are a lot of theories as to why critics okay, are funny, angry at this <laughs> this movie uh, being financially successful. Chris Pratt being one of them. The gamer, of course. Yeah, they're mad about Chris Pratt. They're really, really Kotaku, salty about Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt. So, it's, it's a one, two. Okay, so not only does the movie have Chris Pratt, not only is the movie, as far as I know, apolitical, it's just dumb fun, right? But it's also adding to the coffers of Comcast Universal. Uh, it's going to add to people coming to the theme parks. And if they're going to see Mario, they're going to they're gonna also go across the way and go see that Harry Potter. Well, as soon as you go to the theme park, Nintendo gets a cut of that ticket. And so does J.K. Rowling. Yes, <laughs> so yes. you know. People are like, well, it's not directly. Because I, I said, gaming journos, you better, if you're complaining... And I'm talking about you, Kotaku, and especially the gamer. Oh, you better not go to see Super Nintendo World any at all. Do not go because they are giving part of your ticket to J.K. Rowling. Mm -hmm. You can't go. If you do, you're a hypocrite. You're a hypocrite. You weren't supposed to buy the Hogwarts Legacy. You can't go to that theme park or you're giving her money and she's just going to go write more books. So they better not cover anything about Universal. Cancel your HBO Max because there's a new Harry Potter show coming mm -hmm. apparently. Uh, anything that has any, don't buy Lego products at all because, you know. They like, give money to J.K. Rowling. Yeah, like a quarter of their line is freaking Harry Potter now. So what? <laughs> not that high, but yeah. That's a lot. It's, you know what? They're, she's just going to be in, incentivized to make I, more. I gotta tell you though, I really, really, really wish I had bought Luigi's Mansion playset. I really want it. I know. But I'm like I don't know where I'd put it and what I'd do with it. That's the only reason I haven't bought it. Because, well... Put it in the kitchen above the the counters. You put the, cabinets? the cabinets? No. Yeah, you I have to that. leave it all year. I've thought about buying it because it looks cute, but I don't know what I'd do with it. And I don't have room. And now you started me on a whole new collection because you brought me some Integrity Gem dolls. And now I'm like, now I have to collect them too. Yes, we have and they're to, expensive. We'd have to do a reverse mortgage for you to afford the Integrity Gem I know. Dolls. But I did get a good deal on a Stormer. 
I love Stormer. Anyway, continue. Anyway. I just wanted to tell people how cool you are for giving me a uh, Integrity Gem dolls. I've got my moments. I'm not Chris Pratt cool, but I'm okay. But thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Not related to him either, as far as no, I know. No. Might, might, might be. Who, who knows? Who knows? Anyway, um, so yeah, Mike Phelan sent this over. CTV News, <laughs> movie. Re- oh, oh my. this is funny to me. Movie reviews. The Super Mario Brothers movie has all the charm of an unplugged Game Boy. Okay, you know how I just got done talking about game journos who don't even know what Tetris is? Oh my god. Apparently they don't know what a Game Boy is either because the whole purpose of the Game Boy was you put the batteries in it so you don't have to sit in front of the plugged in Nintendo. An unplugged Game Boy. An unplugged Game Boy. (laughs) Look at the responses. Um... (laughs) Game Boy, the handheld battery charge device that very famously isn't plugged in. Well done, guys. Uh, Oh, this is great. Sorry to say, but some people kind of deserve to have their jobs get lost to chat GPT. The drug, this is coming from AI, open AI. The derogatory expression, all the charm of an unplugged Game Boy doesn't make sense because the Game Boy does not require to be plugged in to function. The Game Boy is a portable electronic device that operates on battery power. Therefore, being unplugged does not affect its ability to perform its intended function. I know when you guys read that to me, actually, it was uh, Squid King who was saying, but no, you said it hit both of us. Yes. And I was just like, wait, what? <laughs> I was like, wait, that's what they put in their article? Who is this? They have a gold check. Breaking news and more. They have 1.7 million followers. Is this Canada? Is this Canada's news? Blame Canada. Anyway, unreal. <laughs> unreal. Unreal. This is like the time I did the article, and it was it what was it about uh, one game, and they were talking about Chun Li, and she wasn't in the same. Game. Oh, I think that was a joke. I think they were talking was it about a joke. Yeah, I think that was a joke. I think I think it was. Uh, if I remember correctly, God, I hope it was a joke. If I remember correctly, it was a female gaming journo who wanted to see what would happen if she talked about like Chun Li being. Oh yeah, no, the Mortal Kombat movie's out, but where's Chun Li? Yeah, like, that was what it was. Yeah, I don't think and, it was a joke. No, I think it was a joke. It had to have been a joke. I don't remember. We covered it a long time ago. Now, look, I understand that this is proves that game journals or journals are all tend to be younger. And you don't have to know every game system ever existed and played every one, to un, you know. And so it's understandable you didn't understand what a Game Boy was. But you're trying no, to No, it's own, not. It's one of the most... It's trying, no, to, it's you're just, trying to own people. And it's just the... It's the Tetris writer because it came with Tetris. They didn't know what Tetris was. They don't know what the Game Boy is. <laughs> Oh, you showed me that I about died. Okay, I'll... how the fuck do you not know what know. a Game Boy is? My grandmother really knows what a Game it's Boy really is. Really funny to me too, because these these people that they, that tend to be of a certain age that would probably be the ones who wrote this article. Oh uh, yeah, Grandma does know what a Game Boy was. Yes, um, they're all like into like eighties and nineties. Is my thing. I'm gonna go do all this eighties nineties stuff, man. I'm gonna play the retro games. I wanna be. I wanna wear the shirts from the eighties and nineties. I wanna, you know, that's the hipster thing to do. But I don't know what the fuck a Game Boy is. You know? I was there, man. I I was there. I had a Game Boy. It didn't. The batteries didn't last very long. The screen started to disappear on the one side, and Castlevania Adventure sucked ass. But I still played it all the time. So this this is the state of things right now. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I, I just think it's really interesting that we've got the rap. Check must have bounced. They're saying, hey, Disney, your, your lunch is getting eaten by Mario. Uh, He's kind of fat, so he likes to eat water. Lot. Water is wet. You know, I'm like, everybody, who didn't see this coming? When you, Disney, when Disney, Bob Iger. When, Disney, when Disney's been doubling, tripling down on live action adaptations of original uh, animation and, and spending more time with that than actually doing things people want to see. OK. Yeah. What did they think was going to happen when their competitors were like, well, there's a there's an opening here. I'm going to step in and give people what they want. What do they think was going to happen? Same thing is going to happen to a lot of these other companies. Same thing is going to happen to. I think Wizards of the Coast, especially because they keep making dumb decisions with D&D and Magic the Gathering, I think their competitors are going to step in and fill, That's what you're hoping for. Yeah, <laughs> so. fill, the, uh, fill the void. And um, yeah, basically, uh, Nintendo does what Disney don't. Yeah, pretty much. Diz don't. Um, 
That's what, be, that's what your title of the video. Um, I did that before people didn't get it. Like, oh, okay. It was Nintendo. They also probably don't understand not, the game No, voice. they said, they said, no, I had people in the comments. They're like, that's not even proper English. That doesn't make sense. You're clowns, clownfish. I'm like, you, you don't, how does moron. A, how does the Game Boy operate? How does the Game Boy? <laughs> did you ever hear this little game called Tetris? It was on this thing called a Game Boy. <gasps> oh my. It's like Nintendo, Google it, bitch, dumb. Dumb bitches. You shouldn't even be playing games because you don't know what the thing. You don't play games. Never mind. You don't play games at all. You just pretend like you do to get a job. Working to talk for about someone, politics. To talk about politics. On a game site. Yeah, that's that's basically it. So we're going to wrap this yes. up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.